Hello, hello and welcome to another Affinity Photo Tutorial. This time we are going to change the depth of field of an image in Affinity Photo. This is going to be a very, very quick tutorial as it's very simple to do that. There are multiple ways on how to add depth of field to an image after you took the picture, but I'm going to show you just one quick and easy way to do it. We want to blur the background so the text will look better once applied. So in order to do this, click on your image. You can put whatever image you want. Go to filters, blur, and you have here depth of field blur. It's easy as this. Click on depth of field and this will create two circles. The outer circle is where the blur is going to start and the inner circle is where it's going to focus. So let me turn the dial, the radius, if I can say, to the max so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see here from the outer ring to the inner ring, it's like a gradient. So here let's say you have 100% and here you have 0%. And this is helpful because you can clearly see that you can create super interesting effects using this filter. Right, so let's dial down the radius. I want something like this. And the cool part is that if you grab a corner... What? Oh, uh, no, wait, maybe not. <laughs> the corner, Jesus, it's a circle. But if you grab a node like this, you can squish the circle. And you can focus on your row of apples, something like this. Now you can see the difference here on the text. It's more visible and you can add more to the text so it's going to be even more visible when you post it on your social media or your website if you sell apples <laughs> or whatever you want to sell but this is a super super nice and very fast tool once you're happy with the radius you can change the vibrance of your image as well so you can see now this is zero percent if you dial up to 100 percent your image vibrance is going up. Clarity as well, you can add a few pixels. Let's say one pixel, but I think one pixel is... Hmm. Yeah, one pixel. So let's see before and after. If you click here on this middle one, you can have this slider where you go, this is before and this is after. If you like the outcome, just hit apply and that's it. From here you can add your text, you can add your prices, whatever you want. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you did, hit the like button and comment below if you have any suggestions or questions regarding this tutorial or affinity in general. And if you like this type of content, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified when I'm posting new videos. Until next time, my name is Alex, take care.